Hey everyone, it's Jack Fuki again. I'm back with another 1500 scale review. Uh, today we're going to be looking at the Herpa Airport Accessories Airport Building Cardboard Kit. This is Herpa Catalog number 518901. This is a 2011 release. Um, it says it's in production on my info here, but it's not in production. I think they stopped making it. That's why I went ahead and grabbed one. Um, but the details on it, um, it's a cardboard kit with three parking positions at the gates, each equipped with telescoping gangways, including ground foil and a sturdy base plate. And basically it's a, um, it's a model of Terminal 2 at Munich Airport. And it looks like it's going to be kind of a pain in the ass to put together, but I'll give it a shot. Uh, right now I just want to show you guys what it looks like you know before I build it um, I'll do a part two sometime later hopefully in the next week or so I'll be able to actually go through this stuff but um, this is just a little deal that actually wrapped around the entire package um, it does it did come in a in a huge ziploc bag All the parts were in it, of course. Um, it does come with. Hold on here. This is going to be a little bit of a sloppy video. I apologize, but there's the box that comes with all the. Um, you can see the lights right there. Well, it comes with those parts, and then, of course, the gangway has the little plastic tips on it so that comes in this box being that it did come in the box the box did get a little crushed <coughs> excuse me but um, there's everything there I know I, I had some questions from people I don't know what this is yet I've looked in the instructions um, some kind of rubbery thing but um, yeah, I went ahead and I, I I had I looked at my mail and all that. A lot of people were asking about it, but uh, I, I didn't even didn't even really think about getting this until recently. There is the ground foil, pretty nice. Now it is just a sheet of paper. Uh, there is the base plate. It almost looks like just something you'd go get at a building supply. It's uh, kind of a plasticky, plastic coated foam board or something. Now it did cost about forty dollars. I think I paid forty dollars with it or for it. Um, I found it on Amazon of all places. But yeah, see there's the side of it. There's my computer. Anyway, right there it tells you what it is. It's got the little Lufthansa deal here, which is kind of cool. Um, the planes do park over here. Uh, the building, of course, goes here in this gray area, and then all the little towers with the gangways go there. The only thing I don't like about it is uh, this last section. Of course, this is uh, turned around from where I'm going to show you. All right, now here's here it is looking at it that way with the buildings back here. The planes go right here. Well, here on the end is where another gangway and a tower goes, and of course the gangway is going to go that way. But there's no. It's kind of dumb. There's no parking spot for it and on the fr on the package here they don't show you that they only show you the first three spots but I think that's a little crappy of them but Herpa does things like that they always cut it off on the very end and then they never come out with something else you know to like connect to it oh, let's see what have I not shown you oh yeah then this is pretty much this is your airport here's the airport right here Little herpa thing there. 
Now, if any of you are familiar with, I think it's airportdesigns.com or something like that, um, they make cardboard models. And you basically have to cut everything out. So if you're not real good at modeling, like I am, um, you're probably not going to really like this set because you—I mean—you have to cut everything out and you have to be exact when you're going around it. And I've—I've I've made a cardboard model before, so actually, I'll do a—I'll do a review of that one next. But um, well, no, actually, you'll probably see it before this one. So the last video is probably the one you're going to see the other thing in. But anyway. Um, Yeah, it looks to be a little bit of a pain if you ask me. But it does tell you, it you know, it does show you here how to do it. So I mean it's it's not bad, but um if I remember right, I had to get glue, I had to get a surgical uh or a surgically uh what do they call it? A surgically sharpened um knife, basically, an exacto knife. It should say surgically sharp on it or surgical sharp on it. But um, these aren't too bad. You probably don't really need the instructions. Um, you can kind of figure it out if you have any kind of modeling experience. And I don't mean being angry for the camera. I mean, like, you know, modeling, like model making. Um, then it shouldn't be too bad. You just fold it wherever. I should be able to get through this one. Even though looking at it, I'm a little overwhelmed. This is the first time I've actually looked at it. Uh, there's the detail of the windows. And honestly, you can go online, you can download. I mean, you have to pay for it, but you know, you can download things to make your own, your own airport diorama. But I'm sure Herpa pretty much knew that, you know, that's what people do. They get the, uh, they get cardboard models. Now there's a Lufthansa thing there. And M. Anyway, this will tell you what it's supposed to look like, how to, where to position everything. But, uh, whatever. Herpa probably looked at airportdesigns.com. Oh, they've got this turned around. And they probably got the idea from that. They realized that people like doing that kind of stuff. But, um, yeah, I don't know. I don't know why Herpa really came out with it. Probably because it's a lot cheaper than than doing a plastic kit, plastic buildings. And I guess I don't blame them. And you know that if this was all plastic, it'd probably be like, I don't know, $400 or something crazy. And Herpa's a little pricey on their airport junk. But it does have the instruction manual. Um, just looking through it, it really, really makes no sense. It's all in German and English. And, you know, it just tells you what you can do. It tells you you can build a realistic looking airport. And it's like, no crap, I, I, know, I know I can because that's why I bought the kit. I, I saw that when I bought it. I like how it says, uh, airplanes and ground vehicles available separately. It's like, well, I highly doubt it came in the bag. But, um... It's a little more detail there. That's pretty much what it looks like there. There. Still nice, though. I mean, um, I haven't seen a video of one of these online yet on YouTube. So I think I might be the first person who's actually reviewing it. But again, this is part one. I'll put it together at some point. Um, and then I do have another airport set that I ordered. So it should be, should be coming in. It's a shadow. But that pretty much does it. There's the uh, Herpa Airport Accessories Munich Terminal 2 cardboard model. And um, just give me a little while, like I said, and I'll, I'll try to put it together here in the next week or so, and uh, that should do it. All right, uh, don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe, and I will see you guys later. All right, later.